Hey, Marcus, good to see you. Um, this is your second career high, on, and I believe three games. How much more comfortable do you feel over these last uh, two or three games th than you were earlier in the season now that you're getting consistent minutes or more significant minutes? No, I just think with every game, you know, I'm starting to get more and more comfortable. Um, I think that's a large part too with our development team, you know, all the coaches that are with us each and every day. Um, the guys that don't really play a lot of minutes, um, you know, John Beckett, Stephen Graham, Charles Class. Um, those guys do an unbelievable job of preparing us, guys that don't play as much for, you know, a situation like our team's in right now where a lot of guys are bumped and bruised and, um, you know, guys are in different roles. So um, those guys deserve a lot of the credit just because, you know, they put us in good situations when we're working out and, um, you know, we're kind of doing things on our own. So, um, you know, I think with, as the games continue to go on, um, I'm getting more comfortable. But a large part of that has to do with how um, – we as a group have prepared. Brian Blackburn. Hey, Marcus, I think you, you led the bench in shot attempts tonight. And a lot of guys, especially like for, for guys that are trying to get shots up, like other bench players might be upset about a, a guy coming off, like coming off the pine a little bit and then getting as many shots up as you did. Oh. What does it say about this team's culture what does it say about the the way that these guys continue to embrace you, embrace embrace guys like Vlatko, and just establishing a good culture here? Yeah, we have a great culture. I mean, guys that uh, you know truly care about one another and um, truly love to see each other succeed. And you know, a guy like me, um, a part of this team. I mean, my teammates know what I came here to do. Um, you know, I'm a sport, and you know that's what the coaches want me to do. That's what my teammates want me to do. Um, so in a lot of places, you know, guys might get upset about that. But on this team, we don't have anything like that just because um, we all know what, we, what each other can do on the court. And, you know, we do that to the best of our ability. And that's just been our culture from the beginning. And, um, you know, I'm fortunate to be around a group of guys that, you know, truly embrace each and every one that's on this team. Harrison Wind. Hey, Marcus, I guess from just like a big picture point of view, what's it just been like coming into the league as an uh, undrafted rookie and just being on a contender, you know, playing, being around an MVP uh, for an entire season, being around a locker room uh, with guys with, with a bunch of experience? What's just this whole year been like for you just coming into this thing for the first time and being a part of a contender? It's been a blessing, you know, um, just to be around professionals each and every day, you know. Um, I'm around so many guys that, you know, truly approach the game in the right way and on the court as well as off the court. And so for me, being a guy coming in in my first year, uh, there isn't one specific guy that I could say, you know, I've really, that's really taken me under their, under their wing. You know, it's been a handful of guys, you know, and that doesn't happen in too many places. So, I mean, the culture in Denver, um, as well as the guys we have on our, on our team, great credit to Tim and Calvin. Um, putting together a great, great group of guys. Um, we all just mesh really well. And that's been something that's been a constant from the beginning of the season. And um, I think that's why, you know, we have a chance to really win big. And I know that's why we're going to make a push come playoff time. Esteban Abed. Hi, Marcus. Congrats for the win, for your big performance from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, how important is it for you play uh, with Faku, with Austin, players uh, with a lot of experience of a point guard. Yeah, you know, for a guy like me coming in as a guard, you know, we're a guard-heavy team, but a lot of people look at that as a negative coming in as a freshman, or I mean, I'm sorry, as a rookie. Um, but, you know, for me, I, I look at it as a positive, being able to come in as a rookie and learn from those guys, you know. Um, you know, I've taken so many things from you know, a bunch of guys on our team games, you know, and Jamal and Monte and, of course, Faku. You know, the way that Faku, you know, impacts the game with his heart and um, with his intelligence, with his flair, with his finesse, you know, that's something I can learn from each and every day, you know. So I'm just coming in each and every day as a, as a rookie and trying to pick up things from these guys' games. And, you know, for me, it's been an unbelievable experience because each and every day I've learned something different from somebody else. Leonardo Torres. Hi, Marcos. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Marcos, what can you say about the team chemistry and how do you feel playing with Nikola Jokic, an MVP candidate? You know, I think our team chemistry is, you know, it's, it's amazing, but I think, you know, we still have so much as a team we can get better at, and that's what's exciting about this team. 
Um, I still think our best basketball is ahead of us. And, you know, Nicola being our leader, um, and of course, you know, in my opinion, the MVP of this league, uh, to be able to play alongside him, I mean, it's, a, it's an unbelievable opportunity. And, you know, the way he impacts the game, um, with the way he's able to do so many things on the court and the attention that he draws definitely helps us as players, you know, feel confident to be able to make plays too off the ball. So um, just to be able to be on the court and see it and witness it and be around it every day, um, it's unbelievable. You know, he's an unbelievable person, but at the same time, he's an unbelievable player as well. Joel Rush. Hey, Marcus. Uh, it seemed like earlier in the season, your shot was struggling a little bit more, but you were also just getting fewer opportunities and they were coming more sporadically. Uh, now you're getting more consistent time and your shots are falling at a higher rate. Um, do you see a connection there? And just how valuable is it to be getting the more consistent repetitions now? Um, you know, for me, I think just it was a lot like how my college career started, you know, being a freshman coming in, not, not expecting or knowing what to expect and then being a rookie, not knowing what to expect as well. Um, it took a little bit of time to get used to it. Um, you know, definitely had a lot of ups and downs throughout the season, the beginning of the season. Um, but, you know, for me personally, you know, I continue to pray and stay in scripture and, you know, stay in the gym and try to maintain a positive attitude each and every day. And um, it's just about staying ready. You know, you never know what can happen in a, a full length of an NBA season. It's a long season. So um, the unexpected is, is kind of expected. So for us having all these injuries and guys out, um, you know, you have no choice but to be prepared and to be ready. And um, like I mentioned earlier, you know, a lot of a lot of people within this organization have helped prepare me. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. We still have two more games on this uh, road stand before we go into the playoffs. So I know that's going to be our focus going forward is um, getting a win tomorrow in Detroit. Mike Singer. Hey, Marcus, I think uh, tonight was the first time you've shared the floor with Nicola and JaVale, uh, obviously just trotting out unique lineups to end the season. Um, what impact does it have when, when you guys play two two bigs that big uh, in, in the front court? I mean, it's it, there's not too many front courts like that in the NBA. You know, to have an MB, MVP type of player, Nicola, at the four and how skilled he is with the ball, um, the attention he draws, and then a guy like JaVale at the five who protects the rim like nobody's business, you know. I mean, that's definitely scary in the front court. Um, and, you know, the way JaVale played tonight, you know, um, you know, with his rebounds and his presence at the rim, affecting shots. And then Nicole, you know, he does what he does. You know, to have those two on the court, to be on the court with those two, um, it just made everyone, everybody else's job a lot that much easier, you know. So to be able to switch up matchups, switch up uh, lineups like we're able to um, with the guys that we have on this team is unique. And I think, you know, come playoff time, when we have everybody back to full strength, you know, we're going to be a scary team for sure. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, Marcus. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Marcus.